Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you some of my other crafting items that I have done over the years uh, in different areas, not just my paper crafting and my knitting and crocheting, but also some of my sewing as far as quilts and my um, count it cross stitch items. Uh, one of my favorite count it cross stitch items is This this one that I made. Uh, let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Uh, it hung. It hangs in my craft room. It's a person uh, supposed to be hand quilting a um, a quilt in a frame, and she's sitting in the window. Well, I say she because it's for me. Uh, sitting in the window with a bunch of flowers in the window, and the curtains are pulled back, and she's making a uh, working on a quilt. That hangs in my craft room. I have changed all of my pictures that I have in the house. Almost all of them. There's some special ones, like maybe two ones that aren't my count it cross stitch. I took all of our other pictures down and replaced them with uh, count it cross stitch pictures in all the rooms of our house and in the hallways. Uh, one of the last ones that I worked on that I haven't had a chance to, it needs washed and framed, is this angel. She has beads around the bottom, and then there's more beads around here, and then beads around her face. Now, usually when I make uh, a lot of my my counter cross stitch pictures, I I liked I started this doing this because I like to change up the colors and add in different colors to fit the rooms that I'm making them in or where I want them to go. So that's one. She needs washed and then blocked out and then uh, I'll put it in the frame. And then I have another place. Uh, this is into my quilting now. I have another place behind my front door that was just an empty space. So I hung up a curtain rod and put those um, uh, those uh, pinching, uh, some fancy pinching. Um, I put up a fancy curtain rod and then those fancy pinchers to where you, you know, you pinch down for your curtains. And then I got greenery on the bar so you don't see much of the bar. And you just see the fancy ends on the bar, the two uh, fancy ends on the, each end of the bar. And I hang up a seasonal quilt there. So uh, this is one of the ones that I'm I'm getting ready to hang up now. Where's the one that I just took down? This is an Easter one. I have one for all the holidays. And it is, they're just small ones I make to hang there. There's the chocolate Easter bunny. This is the back. It just has some eggs. And some of them I, I made these, um, these uh, little patches to say what they are. And this one is, I named this quilt Chocolate Bunny. And I wrote a quilt for all seasons. That's what I have for uh, the series that I was working on. This quilt was made for Easter. It was hand appliqued uh, the way that I made the front, the top of the quilt. It was machine pieced as far as I pieced the blocks first. And then I applique the eggs and the uh, bunny and then cut the other spacing away in the back and then uh, quilted it. Uh, it was machine quilted and I completed it in March 2005. So some of them have those little reminders because I was making so many quilts I didn't, you know, unlike the cross stitching, I usually put in the corner of the cross stitching the month and the year that I finished it. And this was a quilt that I made. I made one for, we do a girls' night out, me and my sisters and my nieces. My nieces, I made them angel quilts. This is our very first one we did. For my sisters, I made us 
it's a tree with bluebirds flying in it. And I'm just taking this one down because I had a winter scene one and I was so tired of winter, I put this one up to be a little cheery. Upside down. There it is. And it's just birds sitting in a tree. And then I took my, before I, um, this one was hand applique, which the birds were uh, hand applique and the tree was hand applique. And then I took, uh, I pieced the, the background with, you know, this double border on there. And I, uh, before I pieced it to put it together, I put a name for each of my sisters on each of the birds. Each of the birds has a name on it. And then if you noticed, I have all the birds sitting in the tree. And I have one bird that's flying above the tree. And the one bird that's flying above the tree is for my sister that passed away. She's not in the tree, but she's still with us. She's flying above us. And uh, the tree represents, for me, it represents my mom. And then all of the girls and the one sister that passed away is flying above the tree. So I made one of these for all of my sisters uh, for that, uh, our first girls night out and gave it to them. There's all kinds of quilting. There's machine quilting. I mean, uh, to make the tops, you can use a machine to make the tops. You can just get a flat background and applique, which means placing pieces of material over top of it and making the background. And this quilt is a combination of both of them. This is a large quilt, so I can't show you all of it. And what I did was, let me get a good part. I pieced the whole quilt on this one. I did different it's uh, crazy blocks. So the blocks are all in different sizes. And this was all done on, on uh, the sewing machine. And the border, you know, the, the, the borders were attached. And then I added another border. But what I did with the other border, I hand applique. I, I love to hand applique. I love to work with my hands with the fabric, with the things. So the, the border was hand applique on. And it's uh, like a vine with flowers on it. Let's see, go in the other direction. Around all the borders. And then I, after I got that done, then I attached it to the quilt to make the second border. And this quilt was, It's like in the middle section of each one. I did a, uh, a flower and a stem. And then after I got all that done, then the, the whole machine, the whole thing was uh, machine quilted. I have a, I, I sew it on my regular sewing machine. Uh, and then I have a uh, mid arm. I don't have a long arm. I have a mid-arm sewing machine and a quilting frame that you wrap your, you wrap the quilt up on, and then you can. Um, I have a controller to, and with the speed control, and I can stand in front of it and quilt my different designs. So this one has, uh, this one is more like uh, my one with my my bunnies, and this one was just a free motion quilt. So you just take it and you just go. All kinds of zigzag lines over it. This one was more, it's a pattern in each of the blocks. I did like a, uh, you can't tell. It's like a starburst in the middle and then it's free motion quilting. Yeah, you can see some of the starburst right there on that section. And then the rest of the quilt is free motion quilt, except I did uh, more of a design going around on the cream color right here. 
And then the black is just a free motion quilting on it. And then it's quilted around. It's in the ditch, what they call in the ditch quilting around the uh, the, the item, the, the flower in the center. And that was just different ways that you can quilt on that one. I was just playing around with doing the different quilts. And let's just sit this over here. I'm sitting on it. And my last quilt that I have is one that I'm still working on. This was a, this quilt is a machine quilted, a machine sewn on the top, machine, machine pieced. And I did what they call, uh, no, this one was just machine pieced. And this is the double wedding ring quilt. So let me see if I can get where you can see the, the rings. Yeah, right here. See one ring I'm going in the direction. One ring goes into the other wing. Ring. So it circles into circles into circles. And that's up and down. And so this was machine pieced where you do the one little section at a time and then you just keep adding more to it. But what I did different with this one, I'm, that's why it's taking so long because I'm um, hand quilting this one because I'm doing a design into the center. You can see it better from this side. I'm doing a design and a center of each of my quilt blocks. And what they are is I went on online and saw some African mask. And then I copied them down and then I traced them. And I made, uh, made a stencil and I used a invisible pen or disappearing pen. And I put it around there and then I'm, yeah, you can see it. I'm doing an African mask into the center of each one. And that's how they look. There's different I think I have like six different masks that I'm doing. And then all I'm doing is uh, like a quarter of an inch around all the items, you know, uh, around the, um, uh, the rings, around all the edge of the rings. I'm doing the, um, the quilting. So this one is taking a long time. I, I have it pieced where I could take it off. I have also have a hand quilting frame. Uh, but then what I did was I stretched it out and then there's this this little gun. You know how that you your clothes have the little tags on it? Well, they have one of those things that you can use for quilting. So I spray paint basted it first, put that down, and then I locked it in with these little tabs so that I could take the quilt and I could sit down because it's already stretched out. And I can sit with this on my lap and do my um, my hand quilting of it. Like that. There's one of the masks right there. And then here's one of the sections. Is that one done yet? Yeah, that section's done. And then on the back is where I have all those little tabs but I don't have them I have like one in the very center and then they're all around the edges here so that I could uh, I could draw my stencil in there and then quilt it before it disappears and those are the things that uh, I have a lot more quilts so I have a whole quilt cabinet that I have I bought to put my quilts in and then I have quilts on all my walls too, small quilts 
And in my living room, I have a large quilt on one of uh, on one of the walls in there. And in my bedroom, I have a large quilt in there. And then I have quilts hanging up on the up on the wall. The I don't know they're quilt quilt hangers. And I have one in my craft room, and I have one upstairs in the hallway that I have my quilts on there. And um, gave a lot of quilts away as baby gifts. And uh, I didn't give any wedding gifts. I did baby gifts. No, and, and I think I, I think I did a couple wedding gifts uh, for quilts that I made. Uh, my count of cross stitch. Nobody gets those. Uh, they take too long to work on, and those are going to be left to my sons to split up and share which ones that they want to take, because I have them all over the house. And every room of the house, including the bathroom, has counter cross stitch pictures in them. And those are my other items that I like to work on when I'm not doing my knitting, sewing, crocheting, card making, scrapbooking. <laughs> this is this is my therapy uh, that keeps me sane. I love to work on items, and I love to do the items to match the house. So that's why I. That's why I do my own crafts. I even have ceramics when you used to do ceramics a long time ago. That I used to do ceramics. I had my own kill. I had my own pouring table. I had my molds. We did the from start to finish on our, uh, our ceramics too, me and my mom. I would started them off and then she, I taught her how and she just ran with it. And those are all my other items that I like to work on and I just wanted to share them with you. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Bye.